All right, guys, you are about to watch the breakdown, the huge lie from the Lancaster Sheriff's Department, including the mayor, Rx Paris, including the lie from Antelope Valley Hospital and all the other fake news outlets around the surrounding area of Antelope Valley, California. As you guys know, uh, we were set up and framed by AV Hospital and by the Lancaster Sheriff's Department. They have still not released our video equipment. They are still holding it for evidence, even though a judge would not sign off on a search warrant. Now, in this video, you are about to watch some major lies by the Lancaster Sheriff's Department and some major lies by Rx Paris himself. I'm going to go ahead and share this video, mirror this video, and the main video, the guy who uploaded it, I will share his link in the description. This is just to further the education and to wake up the public by me mirroring this video. Here we go. Now let me play this news clip for you, and I want you to ask yourself a simple question. What if everything they're telling you is a lie? Listen closely, because I'm going to break in on some crucial points in the story, which solidify in the minds of viewers that this was an actual event, according to the local news, which was then picked up nationally. Meanwhile, breaking news in Lancaster, where a gunman hid and opened fire at a sheriff's station. Not allegedly hid and opened fired. And a deputy was hit and wounded. CBS 2's Car Finstrom is live at the scene this morning at Jackman Street and Sierra Highway with the latest on the search for the suspect that continues this morning, Cara. They are reporting that the deputy was hit and wounded and that there is a manhunt underway for the suspect. This is very important because the punchline comes later. It does, Suzanne. The Sheriff's Department here not yet releasing any information about who they think this shooter may be. That search still underway. We do know that the deputy who was wounded is now at home with his family in good spirits. We're told he was treated and released from the hospital. We do know that the deputy who was wounded was treated and released from the hospital and is at home in good spirits. Guys, this is all really important. These are all absolutes broadcast to the masses. Behind us here, just beyond those gates, that's where everything took place uh, shortly before three in the afternoon yesterday. And here's part of the deputy's call for help. Uh, take a shot from the north of the Lancaster helipad. Uh, see him hitting the right shoulder. That's the voice of 21-year-old Deputy Angel Reynosa, who had just been shot. He was walking to his car, was right outside the station when he was ambushed. Not allegedly shot or ambushed. They're treating this like it actually happened. Fortunately, sheriff officials say he was hit in the shoulder and not seriously wounded. Now keep that in mind. Sheriff's officials are saying Officer Angel Reynosa was definitely hit in the shoulder. This is very important. It's not just Reynosa saying this. Sheriff's officials and hospital officials are saying all this is true. He had been working here only about three months. Reynosa quickly told deputies he thought the shots had come from a four-story complex across the street and the tactical team sur surrounded and swarmed it. Some of the complex's apartments house people who are dealing with mental illness, and Lancaster's mayor immediately voiced his concerns about it towering over the sheriff's station. Sheriff officials have not said whether or not they think the suspect lives there. Right after the distress call, deputies ran out to help. It's a building filled with people who are being treated for mental illness. Of course it's a concern. Now, is he talking about the building across the street or the sheriff's office? Of course, it's, it's insanity to allow such a facility to exist in that particular location. Actually, there's something else we're going to learn in a minute that's even more insane than that, uh, Rex. About 80 people living in the building were taken by buses to a Red Cross evacuation center. The SWAT team was done sweeping through it by about midnight. We have not yet gotten any kind of a suspect description from detectives. Now, the mayor also said that it was very fortunate the deputy had not yet taken off his bulletproof vest. DeMarco Suzanne, he said that he was about to do that. Uh, and if he had, the situation could have been much worse. A lot of news outlets covered this, guys. But I'm only going to play one more and then we'll get to the punchline. 
Well, Ellen, I'm in City Hall. We are expecting the sheriff to arrive here any minute and hold a press conference and update. We heard from the mayor about a half an hour ago. He says he was in the emergency room with the deputy who was shot. Uh, uh, reportedly, that deputy was conscious, breathing, but in a lot of pain, as you can imagine. A lot of pain, as you can imagine. Hmm. Um, it appears that the shooting was a random act, not necessarily directed at that specific deputy, but the mayor says it was very difficult to go and meet that deputy, see him in so much pain. He's a young deputy, um, a rookie, and the fact that he was shot in the chest was uh, very troubling to him. Take a listen as to what he had to say. Fortunately, he was wearing a vest. The vest saved his life, but the bullet did deflect into his shoulder. Uh, I saw him at the emergency room probably within 20 minutes of the event. Uh, I saw him at the emergency room probably within 20 minutes of the event. And he was talking. He was, they expected that he will be fine. Uh, he was in a great deal of pain, obviously. Mayor Rex Paris here says that he saw that officer in the emergency room after being shot. Keep that in mind, too. And the mayor also said that deputy was trying to describe what he heard and what he saw, but there was not much to say. Uh, he didn't see much, you know, as as Chris Christie and as uh, David and Alan, you've been talking about that shooter shot from a third or fourth story window acting as a sniper. Uh, so very little information to go on. They are reportedly going through that building, searching for the suspect. Um, as far as people in this area in Lancaster, the mayor's asking people to avoid the downtown area, but also stresses that their lives are not at risk and the target is contained at this hour. We're going to bring you that live press conference once the sheriff's, sheriff arrives, hopefully in the next few minutes or so. <laughs> target is contained. I think she meant threat. There's only one problem with this story, guys. Aside from SWAT pouring into the streets, violating everybody's Fourth Amendment rights in that apartment complex while they search for said sniper and pointing their guns and endangering lives, other than those facts, everything else was a bold-faced lie. A freaking lie! Fake news! Local and national news reported that Angel Reynosa was shot by a sniper. Now, before I read you this story from the New York Post, I can't drive the point home hard enough that this was reported as gospel truth. There was no talk of an alleged sniper or an alleged shooting. It was packaged as... This is what happened. Take our word for it. There's a manhunt on the way. One of our sheriff's deputies got shot. We're talking about a ton of resources being used to find a guy that never shot anybody. Matter of fact, the guy didn't even exist. The New York Post reports, a Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy completely fabricated a report that he was shot by a sniper, slashing his own shirt to appear as if he were struck by gunfire. Deputy Angel Reynosa, 21, initially claimed that a sniper shot him Wednesday while he was unloading his patrol car at the Lancaster Station parking lot. He told dispatchers that he was struck in the shoulder by gunfire from an open window of a nearby apartment building. But his story started to unravel as soon as he arrived at the emergency room, where it was apparent that he wasn't injured, authorities said. Hmm, apparent that he wasn't injured as soon as he arrived at the emergency room? Wait a minute. It was reported that officials said he was indeed shot and that the hospital treated and released him. So now we have a lie within a lie? Remember what Rex Paris said? He saw him 20 minutes after he was shot and he was in a great deal of pain. Who was it that reported this? On what basis did they deliver this report to the news? Did the news station make this up? Was there a doctor in the hospital who wasn't willing to play along as they attempted to fabricate yet another shooting with a rifle in order to further their nationwide quest to confiscate all rifles? Officers investigating the supposed attack were unable to recover any bullets at the scene or locate the sniper. In a follow-up interview, Reynosa admitted to making up the alleged attack and using a knife to cut two holes in a shirt. There was no sniper, no shots fired, and no gunshot injuries sustained to his shoulder. Completely fabricated. L.A. County Sheriff's Homicide Bureau Captain Kent Wegner said Saturday night at a press conference. But wait a minute. 
The mayor of Lancaster said he saw Reynosa in the hospital, quote, obviously in a lot of pain 20 minutes after the shooting. Guys, you know what this looks like? And I'm not making any assertions here, YouTube, but it looks to me like they were concocting another plan to add to their feeble arguments to continue to violate the Second Amendment and the Fourth Amendment. They say Reynosa has been relieved of his duties and will face a criminal investigation. In other words, rest assured, we're going to conduct an internal investigation on ourselves and we'll let you know what we come up with. And they say the building across from the sheriff's department is filled with mentally ill people. Maybe they should look in the mirror every now and then. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comments section below. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video. All right, guys. So you be the judge. You just seen it for yourself. This guy did an excellent job breaking down this video. For most of you guys who know, I live in the Lancaster area. And when this so-called sniper shooting took place, I did go out there and I went live. And I already knew there was never a sniper shooting. The cops were just too relaxed and too chill. I'm going to go ahead and share that live stream video in the description. You guys go check it out. Um, and with that said, this place is foul. The Lancaster Sheriff's Department, they do not need to be out here any longer. I don't know. They need to take all these sheriffs out of here, get rid of them, and put a whole new crew in here, including the mayor, A.V. Watchman, signing out.